Here at Global Sources Fashion, the new fashion technology corner is showcasing some of the latest developments in how 3D printing is being used in creative and innovative ways in the fashion industry. Now first up, we're going to take a look at the Hong Kong-based startup Shigo, and uh, David is going to tell us a bit about how they've been using uh, this new method of creating clothes. Right, okay, so with our previous collections, we basically used um, 3D digital as one of our main elements into our collections where we actually created um, items and attachments through using a stencil method. So my partner here is creating a um, flower flower pattern from the stencil that we designed with Rita Zuzula. And so through that we, we pick it off and we use it as an attachment to um, embellish it onto the clothing which is like uh, something different and something that's more under control and we don't have to mass produce it. But from that point on, we thought that 3D printing shouldn't just be like just another pictures or another attachments. So we wanted to input something that's more functional that's use of so both um, use of a attach an attachment as well as a branding. So we use it in um, small areas where it wouldn't be too heavy for the clothing, while at the same time it could provide um, some functional use to adjust the clothing. And over here we've got Things Cube who are demonstrating their printing technology and in fashion terms they make things like uh, clips and buckles um, as well as all kinds of uh, trinkets and accessories for uh, uh, home and gift use. This stand belongs to No Concept by Amoeba, a Hong Kong based concern that's involved in promoting the new possibilities of 3D printing for all kinds of businesses, but particularly small creative ones. Uh, over here on this shelf, we've got uh, a bunch of 3D printed shoe lasts. That's the mold that a cobbler uses to uh, form a shoe around. And the advantage of 3D printing here is that it makes it feasible and economical to create things for short runs, for rapid prototyping, or even just for a, a one-off custom-made design. As well as providing the interior mold for the shoe, it's also possible to 3D print some of the components, so a bit of the sole or a stiletto heel. And due to the time it takes to do 3D printing, it's not practical for large runs of production, but if, again, you want to make a prototype or a very short custom run, this is ideal.